week we have two setters, Tazria and Metsora. We read them together as one. Well. The start of Tazria talks about spiritual uncleanliness, Tuma, encountered by a woman who's just given birth. The end of Pasha's Metsora also talks about various other different types of spiritual uncleanliness. The way I understand Tuma, spiritual uncleanliness, is a bit like radiation. Radiation is something we cannot see, we cannot feel, you might feel the heat associated with radiation, but you cannot feel it, yet we know that people who are exposed to it can have sometimes deadly problems. Therefore, spiritual tumour also, it comes on a person, you can't feel it necessarily, you can't see it, but it could cause problems and we need to be purified from this tumour. The rest of the Sedra talks about the details of the laws of Tzorats. This is wrongly translated as leprosy. The Gemara, the Medrus, talks about various different sins that cause this disease to come. They are, the famous one is talking Lashon Hara, talking evil, or even if it's true, about a fellow man which causes them pain or a loss. Could also come from serving idols, theft, committing adultery, behaving in a manner unbefitting to him. And some of the proofs that it is a spiritual disease and not a physical disease are it can only be diagnosed by the Kohen, nobody else. If it is somebody that is in a happy state of moment, like a chosom, somebody who's just got married, we wait until the end of the week, and then we look at it. If it is in the house, comes in a house, comes on a baguette, comes on a garment, these things are not normal for diseases, then we would also wait until we've removed everything from the house before we check to see if it was the disease. If it was something to do with contamination, then how could we let them take everything out? So we see it is a spiritual disease. There are many other proofs which are enumerated by Rabbi Samson Rafael Hirsch in his commentary on the Chumash. Some of the laws of Toras. Toras was like this. It was a white egg in appearance, white shape, form on one's skin, or alternatively, on one's head. The laws are too numerous to mention in this video. There is something interesting. One sign that one is Tommy is if there are two hairs, two hairs that are normally black, that have turned white inside this little area, then one becomes Tommy. One hair, then one is okay. Two hairs, one becomes Tommy, spiritual unclean. And the Medrash, or Rabbis, tell us that it is God who can discern between every little hair on one's body to see Two hairs, one hair, is he going to be unclean, is he going to be clean? The same God can distinguish between individuals and can give every single person his sustenance. In the same way as every single hair can change according to his will, so can anything in life. And we should take that message from this week's Sedra, that God cares, he can do anything he wants. He can bring plagues on houses, on garments, he can change people's colour of their hair. So how much more so could he run our lives as a whole? And if we take that message to heart, may we be spared and saved from all these spiritual diseases, and may we come back to Zion. This week is Yom Hatzma'ot, the day when we celebrate the setting up of the state of Israel, and we should come back to it. Although we have a state, but unfortunately we are not living in peace, we should come back in peace and harmony. Amen.